I'm here with my team. We have Waterfall Electric, our creation for Startup Weekend. And we're showing you the business as it will be, uh, created by our team, uh, four core members, uh, Randy, Randy Pringle, Keisha, Keisha Nelson, Don, Donald Halbert, and me, Matthew Liverwork. And our goal is to end up reselling hydro power systems at a 40% profit. So, um, for those of you who love solar energy, uh, this may come as a surprise, or you may have already have an educated answer for it, but at the moment, there's a high capital cost for solar, and there's various ways around that. Now, another way is to just use a different system, hydropower. Uh, hydropower is just as, almost as convenient as nuclear power in a lot of ways. Now, it's also uh, flexible, except for the fact that it's not as flexible as solar power, so there is an advantage there. Okay. Um, and hydropower on a utility scale is widespread. Uh, as this chart shows, uh, Asia, uh, China and Europe, uh, mainly Norway, are the largest users of hydropower with the U.S. as the third. Now, what are the average costs? Uh, this, again, this data might be out of date, but uh, solar power is slightly above the cost of uh, residential power here in the United States. Now, the effective cost is lower, however, it's much lower for hydropower. Here's an example of a municipal scale hydropower setup. All right, us. Uh, hydropower is sexy, as is making money while taking a bath. Uh, there's a lot more we can tell you about that. Um, so, untapped sources of local hydropower there's companies that are actively seeking, and you'll see some of them on the next slide, to make use of the excess pressure in municipal water systems, for instance. And these are three of the companies that uh, have the full range of solutions, from ones that retrofit municipal water solutions to just uh, general turbines that someone can install in their own house. So, who are we? Waterfall Electric. We are people who affiliate with the manufacturers. We present, um, just like we're doing today, but in a much more professional way, with real money on the line. Although, actually, Jeffrey's offering is pretty damn convincing. Um, and based on our presentations, we know that the customers are out there. So, um, the cost savings are real. Uh, there's some markets we'd like to explore uh, going into emergency <coughs> settings is one of them but for the bread and butter it is to just make presentations to residential customers and municipalities so just man on the street interviews most people say yes or decision makers if they say no it's usually because they're not decision makers uh, this is to at least let us pitch to them so uh, if our company goes ahead, which chances are it might, um, we have our 30 day, 60 day, 90 day, half a year, and one year targets. And then uh, what do we need? We need uh, money for different things. And then, go ahead. Um, this sector as a whole, is growing around 17% a year. Uh, mostly industrial scale, the, the missing link is the municipal and residential scale. So, um, today, we're looking for 4,000 bucks, and that way we can go ahead, see if we can meet our 40% profit goal, and start setting up a business, and uh, get all these things, and we know that the market will grow from less than a terawatt uh, globally right now to um, more than a 
almost a terawatt and a half in seven years. All right, thank you very much. So if uh, Randy, Keisha, and Donald could join me. Oh yes, uh, Randy will be handing out things uh, for the judges, uh, some examples. Thank you. 